Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back from my retreat. And thank you so much everyone for for encouraging me encouraging me to take a little break. Um this video I'm going to show you some stuff I got at my retreat. I'm going to show you what I made at my retreat and hopefully we'll have some time to do a little crafting with something that I kind of got prepared yesterday at the retreat. So it was wonderful. It was wonderful, quite rejuvenating, and I loved every minute of it. Um, I want to, before I start this video, want to say hi and hugs to La La Gamma. Um, she, <laughs> bless her heart, watched all my old videos while I was gone, and she started at the very beginning with the very first video, and bad as it was... <laughs> And, and so I just really appreciated that. She commented on every one. It was a real trip down memory lane, I'll tell you what. But yeah, that first video was made July 8th, 2016. So I'm well past three years doing this and that's unbelievable. But, but anyway, Lala Gamma, thank you so much, sweetie. And thanks to all of you who visited old videos while I was away. That was, that was so nice. Okay, well let's let's just get started. I have a lot to share. So let's see, maybe first of all, I will show you this, which is kind of amazing. So there are a lot of quilters at this retreat. This was not my retreat. This was a friend's and she's a quilter. And there were lots of other quilters. And the one gal brought um, table runners for everyone that was at the retreat, which was amazing and I got this beautiful fall um table runner so super excited about that that was oh so generous of her I mean I watch those quilters and I'm in awe because I just would not have the patience <laughs> but anyway I have a treasure from from the one gal and sure appreciate that so that was that was from Cindy um and then I, we did shopping. Of course we did shopping. And because they're quilters, um, we went to the quilt shop and I find these little charm packs to be really awesome for journal, uh, for our journals. Cause they're just little bits, you know? And so I got this one. I love it. It kind of reminds me of feed sack fabric. It's, there's the the maker if you want to look for one like it and then of course I love moda I just love moda anyway but um this one has more um pastel -y kind of pretty fabrics in it so yeah I played with a played with a few of those I think I think this one is kind of my favorite that that design and of course then they have it in every color you know in in the charm pack so oh here's this one moda finnegan so anyway those those i picked up and then also related in the um quilting world my friend kelsey was very busy she was making a uh, christmas uh wall hanging and she gave me all of these scraps from making her her wall hanging it was Christmas trees so thus they're in that in that shape but I thought wouldn't that just be such a cute little thing hanging from a page in a Christmas journal so yeah I was the recipient of all the quilting scraps during the weekend it was fun so got those and then my friend Diane was working on um <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. That snuck up on me. Um, was working on uh, batiks. And so I got a bunch of scraps of batiks. And then some fairly good sized pieces. Like I thought this one would make a really cool journal cover. I really love that one. And yeah, just got a bunch of batiks. Love this one too. Such yummy fall colors. So we'll revisit that in just a minute when we tell I tell you what I or show you what I made. 
This one's in browns. This one's greens. Really kind of fun. So because I, you know, desperately needed it, I got more fabric. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So then we went to that antique store in the little town we were in. And I got this roll of vintage wallpaper. So let me kind of open it up. Oh, it's kind of stuck right there. Well, you can you can see pretty well. Isn't that a pretty little design? And look, it's a whole roll. So I'm going to cut that up and be watching for that to hit my Etsy shop because I will be I will be sharing. There's way more there than I can use. So that was fun. And then the other things I got at the antique store. Oh my gosh, guys, I got two of these. Look at these. These are awesome. So I'm going to make a journal out of this one. These are cosmetology textbooks from this one, 1972. But I got to show you some of the pages in these things. So look at that. How fun is that? I think they are so fun. <laughs> yeah. Facial makeup. Yeah, they're just these cool old textbooks that have also got your hair follicle right there. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, gosh, they even have to learn about the blood vessels and everything. Nervous system, muscles in the mouth. Wow, anatomy and phy uh, physiology. But I just thought it was really fun. And then this one is because that one was from the Butte Academy of Beauty Culture from Butte, Montana. This one, Montana Beauty College, and that was in Great Falls, Montana, 1967. This one, look at she's got she's got um, her little note cards and stuff. This one has amazing hairdos and stuff in it. So what I'm thinking is I'd like to make journals, but um, I think I might sell packs of the papers in my Etsy just because that's a lot of book pages and they're so fun. I think they could be real fun um, page packs. So got those at the antique store as well. And then um, where did I get this? Oh, I think I got that at the garage sale. So we stopped at a garage sale that was going on. I got a bunch of um, pretty purple lace. I don't know if you can, see, you can probably see it better there. That's, that's real fun. So yeah, a bunch of packs of that. Will go great with uh, Lorella by Tracy Fox or um, the Prima Lavender. And then she had this old book. I think I want to read it first. <laughs> The ivy tree, it's called. Look, it, it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of seen better days, but I thought it would be fun. Orange Public Library, Orange, California. Oh my gosh. I'll take a picture of that and show it to my friend. 1961. Yeah, 1961. But um, the pages are real yellowed and stained and just all sorts of grungy. And so I thought that was kind of fun. And I don't know what the book cover looks like. Let's look. Might as well look, right? Where, um, because, you know, I'll be taking that off. Oh, there we go. Oh, nothing special. But I do love that old tape on it. Hmm. Anyway, so that was a fun old book. Yeah, like I needed those too, right? Oh, goodness. But it was fun. And then... <laughs> I bought a dress for $5. Here's the dress. <laughs> I bought the dress for $5 and I tore it all apart. So here was the ribbon on it. And then um, it was lace covered. And so this was the lace that was on it, which is of course what caught my eye. And I've already used quite a bit of the lace um, in some projects that I'll share in just a second. Uh, so 
I got a fairly significant pile of the lace out of the dress. So that was good. Yep, $5. <laughs> and then it had layers. So there was this kind of, I don't know what you would call it, kind of a, a dull satin layer. And then there, um, oh no, there, there was the satin layer. That's this, the satin layer. That's all that. There's a big piece of it. And then there was this cottony kind of stuff. It's more like crepey almost. And then there was this was in the bodice, this kind of open weave stuff, fun for layering. So I got some, I got some fabrics from that dress. Yeah, it was fun. And of course the quilters just couldn't believe their eyes as I'm cutting up this dress. I loved it. So I did that. Okay, so you want to see what I made? Oh my gosh, I made a bunch of stuff. Let's see here. Okay, so this is my little tote o finished products or projects, I mean. And yet these that I took out of there too. Okay, so let's let's let us begin and I'll show you. I got so much done. I was so excited. Oh, let me show you these first. So one of my um, new friends from the retreat, her name's Sharon. She is in charge of an estate and she came back one day with these awesome, um, let's see, this one is November, 1964. This one's December, 1960. Um, these awesome old magazines for me. She said, I thought you could use these. And I'm like, yeah. So that was fun um, that she would think of me for those. Okay, so projects. I got 13 journals made and piles of other stuff. So can you believe that 13 journals? I know, I know. I was so impressed with myself. Okay, so I made a journal out of this cover. You might remember the cover from doing the, um, let me put these down because they're creating a shadow. Um, you might remember this cover from the journal cover series. And so it is, I won't show you the whole thing. I'll just kind of show you. It's all mushrooms. It's my Artie Mays design team project. So that will be a separate video. I'll do a little flip through of that in a separate video. So we have that. Then I made a couple of um, fall traveler's notebooks. And these are going to be in my Etsy shop. I'll be just randomly posting these guys. So I'll go ahead and show you the inside. So they both, they're both basically the same with um, pockets. Let's see, should I get you closer? I should with pockets on the front um, and the back. And then a um, couple little flips. And let's see, I used Alzie Bell's bookshelf in this one. I better make myself note of things that I need to, that I need to um, attach to this video. I'm just getting back in the swing, you know. Okay, Elsie Bell's bookshelf was this oh and then musings by nikki this this little journal card was from her so we'll add her at the bottom too yeah i knew i would have to kind of as i'm going through tell you some of the people and and go ahead and link them so lots of writing space in these journals little Little old uh, ledger there, little Edith Holden. Some kind of half pages. Um, this is one of my receipts from my um, Etsy, uh, a digital from uh, my Etsy. And then um, I just de decoupaged on a napkin and then just tucked it in one of Elsie Bell's bookshelves, um, little tags there. And then this is a little fabric flip, fun colors. 
lots of room for more decorating and or you know and or writing in this one belly band and a little journal card that that I made with book pages napkin label and such um, and then this is one of the vintage envelopes digitals from my shop and I just put a little fabric um, snippet thing there and then tucked it in one of the tags from, um, let's see, that kit on Elsie Bells. I'll put it in, um, I'll put a note here to put the name of the kit too. Uh, I used a couple of hers, I think, on that. So anyways, I'll, I'll list them in the description box because I knew I just took so much stuff. I knew I'd have lots of listing to do. Another one of the Musings by Nikki and then another tag and a flip using some of the collage papers, the fall collage papers. So that's that one. And then I just tied it with this beautiful strip of... Um, kind of fall looking fabric. I was trying to remember now. I think this might have been from Ulala Crafts, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but she likely has something similar. If not, let's see, am I in the camera? Yep. Okay. So I'll just flip through this one really quick. Same, same layout with the pockets front and back. Um, flips and I just I just did them exactly the same and a couple of pages that flip out some ledger some colored papers Edith here's the fabric flip in this one oh so fun um here's the receipt from this one a fun little napkin on it um, and then here's the vintage envelope in this one. And it just sticks in there. And here's the, here's the little journaling card in this one in this belly band. Yeah, so these will be popping up on my shop. I have lots of stuff to list so I need to I need to get on it and it's my goal to do that before the Denver meet and greet to to get a few things listed and and moved out of my of my um <laughs> of my storage world you know um yeah and I should say too while I'm talking about the Denver meet and greet I will be doing a short video here, um, you know, one of these first days with details of where, when, and that sort of thing with um, the Denver meet and greet. Okay, so those two will be going on my Etsy. Then I made uh, nine Christmas journals, nine of them. Yep, I did. Yep, I did. Here are extras that I need to pop in there. So um, I will kind of, I'll kind of just briefly show those to you. So yeah, so those were, those were a good portion of my time. But I did um, the Stamperia papers and I used them completely up and threw away the, I mean, I even clipped out like there's um, the 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 pictures they have on the front sheet of the Stamperia, and so um, I think if you just if you search Etsy for Stamperia Christmas, you should find these. I don't know unless they're from last year, so I don't know. But I don't have the names of them come because I cut them up and threw them away. I didn't think about that. I probably should have kept them, but I didn't. So. Anyway, so I have three of each um, paper pack. Am I sort of in camera? Kind of, sort of? Yeah. So there's, there's this little one. Um, I'll, just, I'll just go through one of each type. How about that? 
And these I'm taking to Denver so that the gals that make the effort to come to the meet and greet have some journals that they can buy if they want to. And then um, if they if they all don't sell at the meet and greet, then I will bring them home and put them in my Etsy. So there's fabric flips in all of them. They're all kind of, they're all this, not the same, but have similar pages like the Dick and Jane book, the, um, I think this was from the McCall's Make It book or something, some um, patterned um, coffee dye, and then, oh yeah, I forgot to, forgot to tie that, forgot to tie that in the middle. And they're just, they're just tied in the middle. Um, belly band and each one has a handmade journaling card. This is Stamperia rice paper here. And um, so each belly band has one of those. Uh, the Playmate magazine. There's a little bit of that. There's this old book. And then just pieces from the uh, from the collections. Oh, and these papers are from um, My Porch Prints. Um, Stephanie at My Porch Prints. And I used the Shabby Book Pages kit in this. And I used also... Oh, I guess they were... I think they were all the shabby book pages. Here's some that weren't used, um, but they, this one has the roses on it. I used that, I think, in the pink, in the pink ones. So you'll see that there. So yeah, my porch prints. So I'll list her below as well. So yeah, I did. Um, I, I kind of did the my porch prints as you know, like almost a little little guest design team or whatever design team thing. So yeah, so I did that in all three. So let's see, which one do we want to look? Let's look at this one of these, but, oh, and I used Deb's, at, Deb at Artsology. I used her labels on these. So let's, let's put her on the list, put down below. I love her. <clears throat> Love her little shabby chic labels, and that's what I use to <clears throat> kind of enhance the cover just a little bit. And these are all tied with lace because they're definitely shabby chic -y looking. Um, I did do a tag in these ones in the front and back pocket, and here's those book pages from My Porch Prints. Cute. And then fun things from the Stamperia. Here's the, here is the um, fabric flip in this one. Some more of that old Playmate magazine. These are from the old Sears catalog. <clears throat> Middle of that signature. And then here's the. Here's the made one again with um, Stamperia rice paper there. Yeah, so it'll be fun. I have five other journals and then I have these nine that I'm going to bring to um, to Denver. So that's exciting. Got a call at from Mary, my daughter Mary, while I was at the uh, retreat. She said she had... She had done a little shopping for Bucky and she got him a, she said, a handsome boy outfit for the, <laughs> for the Denver um, meet and greet. So that's fun. Okay. So those then, and then the last one are these that are just super fun too. Got a little little fun layering happening on these. Let's let's look at this one because it's super easy to tie and untie. Sometimes the, um, what do you call it? Eyelash trim. Sometimes that's a little harder. So once again, um, 
the pockets and then the my porch prints and then lots of fun pages and this one's kind of woodsy music and playmate here's the flip in this one um there's catalog page the coffee dyed those were not mine i bought them on that see um deborah's papers of the deborah's paper design we're gonna get we're gonna have a big old list because i used a lot of stuff in this in this uh you know, all the stuff I made for the retreat. Okay, and here's the card on this one again with the, the fun Stamperia. Oh gosh, I wonder which one it was. I feel like it was one of these ones. I found the best quote in my, it was just in my book page that I used. Yeah, so um, so these will be fun. It'll be fun to to share these. I wonder if I can... can't remember how it went but anyway I'll come across it I have a picture of it on my phone actually because I knew I'd be selling the journal yeah so nine of them I got nine all done and ready to go all I have to do is put my made by Gail in them okay so did that then then still in my still in my little uh traveling thing um I finished the bunny journal. I finished this guy. And, um, and yeah, so I didn't think I could sell it because it had, well, I can't with those, I guess, unless I'll just take those out and make those the gift. But I didn't think the Hackney and Company that you could sell, but I have recently found out that you can sell, uh, sell those. Um, I, I got a subby let me know that. So this was the fun little prototype we made for the Blue Fern Studios project. So anyway, it's all bunnies. It's all it's all fun bunnies and this this cute Hackney and Company paper. Um and uh different things that people had sent me. Uh, I just added in here that are bunny related. I think I'm done with it. I don't know. There's a little more I could do. I just put some extra paper in the pockets here. Um, and yeah, just little things that people had sent me with bunnies that I thought went well. Little um, sack pocket here with this cute um, journaling card. And then um, tucked in the back, some cute postcards. Um, this cute little pocket doesn't have anything in it, but super cute little pocket. Um, this is a Franken tag that I made and put a vintage sticker on. And cute little thing there. Cute little card. Um, this was a journaling card somebody sent. I just put on the envelope and then I made a little tuck out of something else somebody sent and I just put some coffee dye paper in there. Um, and then this cute little envelope came with this little playing card in it and this little tag was also a Happy Meal thing. So those are in there. And then this is a big pocket and I just put coffee dyed paper in there for journaling um this cute envelope was sent to me too that has been all distressed and is yummy and wonderful and i just put this little piece in there for another journaling spot um over here did a pocket this is a tea bag that somebody had stamped and kind of watercolored and then this cute little I just made this into a journaling card, backed it and made it into a journaling card. Put some coffee dyed paper in my tall TN um, pocket that I had put in this journal. And then um, this little Franken pocket, once again, 
with a couple of things that I had received that were bunny related. And these little Franken pockets, I just did faux stitching with a marker. So, you know, you don't always have to have a sewing machine. This was that fun pocket that Shabby Dabby Doo Dah did. Shabby Dabby Doo Dah did. <laughs> and uh, has this awesome tag that I got in Happy Mail. So, um, there's that. And this cute little kind of Dick and Jane. And there's a bunny right down there. Yeah, and then this. And then there's a pocket in the back. So yeah, I um, I haven't totally decided when and if I'm going to sell this one. Um, I'm still waiting to hear if I have to do that um, presentation thing and wanted to have some examples of my journals. I don't know uh, if I want to keep this one for that. So, so this one, well, you know, you'll be the first to know if it goes up on Etsy. This one I would announce and, and time its release. Okay, so did that. So then, okay, gosh, I just have a giant stack of stuff. Okay, so I did, I did some Christmas um, fabric flips. I did a bunch of fall fabric flips. Um, that I'm going to sell in my Etsy. So I got to get those listings ready. So those will be coming too. And then I did a bunch with the batiks that I was given. So, um, so yeah, so those will be, be coming soon on my shop. Hopefully I can get some stuff li listed, uh, today. This won't run till tomorrow. Maybe I won't make them live till tomorrow. Anywho, then I made a ton of ephemera because I had scraps, scraps here, scraps there, you know, fabric, paper. So I did a bunch of these little, with just my fabric scraps, I did a bunch of these little um, fabric snippets, you know. Do I need to, I am just all sorts of off camera, aren't I? Cheesy peasy gale. Ooh, that's awful with that. Let's just back out and I'll just stand up. How about that? Um, and I want to be in for our project. Okay. So anyway, um, I made a ton of uh, stuff. So I made a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, where's the rest of them, of little notebooks. And these were out of the, uh, cutoffs from doing the traveler's notebooks. So I just have a whole bunch of these that I can use i'm gonna stick that over that that i don't know if it annoys you but it annoys me <laughs> and so some are graduated some are just flat but have a whole bunch of notebooks to to stick into things this one was kind of cute i added a a ticket on it so so yeah i have a bunch of those at the ready which is awesome let's see this i'll wait to show you till the very end and oh see here's some more I mean I just I really I just used all the scraps up and I thought I'm not taking them home as scraps I'm going to um take them home as a finished project is that where is that other thing there it is okay okay so I made a bunch of journaling cards whole bunches um with a variety of just just scraps um i just had some scrappy good fun with these so and you know they're all backed with coffee dyed paper and or coffee dyed collage um but i was just using scraps out of my scrap bag is all i was doing and then you know birds and labels and butterflies and that sort of thing um <clears throat> There's that one. This one was from um, one of my receipts from my receipt digital, my vintage receipt digital. And I used some, wanted to play with the rice paper a little bit on that. This is one of my vintage envelopes. And I just did a little collage there and a little fabric collage there. Um, 
this was a piece of paper that somebody gave me at the retreat and I I sewed around the butterfly so it made kind of a fun pattern on the back that was fun um, here's another one my coffee dyed paper digital there and just book pages and and scraps that I had little mrs. Coggs there um, and then this big one okay and then these cute things. So I need to write down Mrs. Cogs. I'm on this back side of my list of who to write down for this one. <laughs> Mrs. Cogs. Okay, so then these, this is uh, Crafty Cat, Amy. This was her idea, and I was dying to try it. And so I did at my, at my retreat, which was so fun. So this is a big book page, and then it's just folded in force and um, can be all written on in there, written on in here. Then I just collaged on the back and the front. Aren't those cute? So I did two of those. I did two of those. This one too. And I just thought it was so much fun. Genius idea, Amy. And then this was just a book page um, tag that I made that I made a pocket and put um, Tracy Fox label on there. So that was fun. And then these, that is what we're going to kind of work on for a few minutes at the end of this video. I had, um, I had done several collages, uh, Rachel calls it Jessica paper. I mean, Jessica Rapp has done this collaging and then cut it up sort of deal, but so has Nick the Booksmith. So there's several people that have done this. So that, um, I had done some others and this was also an idea from Amy at Crafty Cat, Cat USA. Um, and I loved it. I loved this one. So these are um, Tim Holtz pocket die cuts and cut out of the paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was quite the effort to get those cut out. The, uh, the place where I was, the scrapbook house, they have a big shot there, but their plates are like totally in it, practically in a U. And, oh, I had a heck of a time getting them cut out. But I finally got a couple cut out and then uh, made tags to put in and um, just collaged a book page, folded it in half, and, um, and put those Tim Holtz die-cut pockets on there. So, yeah, so um, I'll definitely link uh, Amy's channel. And uh, you can check out. She has, she has great ideas. She really does. And she does such a good job. So there you go. That's that. Oh, here's another. Here's just another uh, receipt that I just put some roses on, some rice paper leftovers. And then these are tags I made from that collage paper too. And so, you know, just stuck a label and a butterfly, sewed around it, put a tab. And they just come out really fun because you never know exactly what you're gonna get you know so that was a brighter colored piece of paper this was kind of more a shabby chicy kind of paper there was a little bit this is napkin here and I just put one of Rachel at Roxy Creations labels on there and yeah so and that's this one too that's a, also a Roxy Creation label I'll be putting her on there um, these words come from three insistent dogs. Excuse me a moment while I write down Roxy and three insistent dogs. <laughs> you guys, I've, I've listed all these people before, but you know, maybe there'll be somebody new watching it that doesn't know where this stuff came from. So, so yeah, she has these fun words in digital form. Um, this is a Tracy Fox and it's just the, the, they come out really neat. Just put an owl on the top of that one and a little washi tape. And this is a Mrs. Coggs, um, saying, how does your garden grow? Just, whoops, just put that on there. 
And oh, and here's here's one of the um one of the die cuts, but it only went partially through, so I needed to bring it home so I could use my utility knife on it. <laughs> oh, I was struggling with that. Everybody was laughing at me, of course. Okay, so there's that. So I thought we might do some of this, but I have one more thing to show you first. So we'll see if we, in the end, if we have time. Um, let's see. So I told you about my porch prints. Um, so then the other thing I made, um, we all make a meal when we're there. And so I made a pasta meal and I used the pasta box and just made a journal cover. And so, you know, for the gals who don't, none of the gals do what I do there. Um, they were just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you can make a cover out of a pasta box. Yep. So I brought it home because I love the fabric and everything, but I didn't have my fray check with me. So I need to fray check around that. And um, one of the gals gave me some scrapbook paper that she thought I could use. So I made four signatures. I have, um, yeah, four signatures semi put together, not totally, uh, for this, for this journal. And it's, I'm thinking now if I, if I decorate it, it's going to be a good size. And so I'll probably put something on the front. So I'm not quite sure where that one is going. And these were I, cutoffs from cutting the papers for those. So I thought, you know what, I might make some little skinny tablets with those too. So that's another little project. And then what I didn't get done, got a lot done. I did. But what I didn't get done is I had these two Stamperia packs that I was going to make. Oops, not that. Um, that I was going to make traveler's notebooks out of. And I didn't even get, I didn't even open them. Didn't even open them. So that happened. I gave away a bunch of paper to the card makers in the group. And um, these were some that I kind of still liked. These were from a botanical uh pack from Hobby Lobby, I think. So I stuck those back in. So yeah, so that was kind of where, where I didn't get done uh, with stuff, but that was okay. Okay. So how much time we have left? We have about 20 minutes. What if we just cut these into tags and just see this I put on the straw paper, which Rachel at Roxy Creations has. And, um, and so I thought we could just, I thought we could just do a little cutting and make those into, into tags to be. So how long is this? This thing is about 13 inches. So we could go down the middle, do six and a half. How about we do that? Will that be good? I don't know. Okay. I got to put all my, all my done stuff somewhere else. So it's out of my way. Yeah, that's going to beef up the old ephemera folder. I'll leave that there because that's covering up the glare. I'm so glad to be back. I, I missed you guys. So, yeah, so this week we have we have granddaughter volleyball two days, so which means traveling, you know, an hour and a half to get to their house or to get where they are. And so I don't know if I'm going to get videos made every day. I don't know. Busy, busy life is just put getting, getting in my way a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm going to do these three inches because they're, it's a little bit less than nine. So see, won't that be cute? It could go this way and then that's the right side up. That'll be cute. And then I'll do a little less than three because, and then, and then these two, gosh, those will be cute takes. I think I'll go this way. So, cause I'll want to cut and I don't want to cut the Edith Holden. So those will be awesome. And then, oh, I love this rice paper so much. I just thought it was gorgeous. Won't that be pretty? Yeah, 
And then this one, let's go a little bit less than three on. That's going to be a pretty one. That's plain, but that's okay because we still have to do our focal points on it, right? So, yeah, so yesterday, so I, this is going to be my, my, um, sort of my game plan. What did I say? Six and a half? Yeah. Um, for retreats is on Sunday mornings because you just have the morning and then it's like clean up and, you know, and haul all your stuff out and all that jazz. So on Sunday mornings, I am going to use up scraps and just, that's all I'm in. Like I just, um, Sunday morning, I just made these collages and I made these, um, little fabric thingamajiggies because that way I'm not bringing home a whole ton more of, um, Ooh, that one's cool. This, this one, the back of that, I used a, a collage that I did years ago and I, um, I had copied it. Might have to make that one into a digital. Anyway, yeah, anyway, that's going to be my game plan because I think, um, that's kind of a good way to go. I mean, I still have plenty of scraps. Don't get me wrong. That's going to be cool. Yeah, these are going to be real fun tags. So that was, that was a good thing to do. Yeah. So then let's see. Maybe what I'll do is use the credit card thingamajiggy. I have this, this, uh, my old Costco card that I cut with, um, you know, sides so that they, I could use it for, for my tags and stuff. Maybe I'll use this one. This one's a little deeper. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the same size. I think it's the same size, <laughs> but, but yeah, it was, it was a great retreat and I met two new people. There were eight of us all together and I met two new people. So that's always fun to meet new friends and, um, missed, missed a couple people who weren't there. Um, the gal who was supposed to be my roommate, her mother had some health issues, so she had to go take care of her. So she wasn't able to come and I really missed her. She's a sweetheart, but, um, but yeah, we just crafted up a storm. My, my friend Diane and Kelsey, her daughter and I, every afternoon we went to the local brewery and we just sat on the patio, had a, had a, a strawberry Hefeweizen beer. It was lovely. And the weather was beautiful, you know, beautiful, warm fall weather. And so, um, so yeah, we, uh, and it was just nice. You kind of need a break, you know, because literally, I mean, you can see how much I got done in what three full days, two half days. So four days, um, you, you literally craft for like 12 hours, you know, um, other than a little break for shopping or a little break for a little trip to the brewery. <laughs> yeah, that, that was fun. And, and it's like, then you're ra raring to go again once you get back. So, so that was good. We went out to dinner to an Italian restaurant the last night. That was fun. I had salmon, garlic, mashed potatoes, and steamed broccoli. It was so good so good. So that was fun. And, um, everybody cooked and, uh, you know, all the meals were awesome. And then on Sunday for lunch, we have leftovers from the whole week <laughs> or, you know, part of the week. So, so yeah. So my next retreat is with those same gals and that is at, at the end of April. And then my own retreat 
which um, is totally booked. I should say that because people always ask. It's all booked already. Um, is the end of May. So, yeah. So, that'll be fun. I just I just love the place where we have it. It's um, in Anaconda, Montana at the Scrapbook House. And it's just, it's it's crafter's heaven. She's got it all set up for crafting. It's awesome. So, yeah. So, okay. Well, we even got those made into tags. Where, where are we at time-wise? Oh, we got 10 more minutes. That's good. We might just fuss around a little bit with maybe some things to put on these. Um, yeah. So anyway, all that to say, it was just, it was a great time. It was very rejuvenating. I mean, I missed my roommate so much, but at the same time I had, I might put some of these on here at the same time I had, um, a room to myself. And I think with, with what had been going on in my life, I kind of, I needed a little, R and R time. I don't know. So, ooh, that's cute right there. That's what I wanted. A small one. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was it was good. Let's see, what else do I have to tell you? Um <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It was just it was just great. But um but yeah, the quilters got like they got like each of them got a couple of table runners done. My friend Diane got two table runners done and two table runners done and um and also a uh the beginnings of a batik quilt. Oh, so gorgeous. I mean really they're so talented. I'll figure out later what little lacy things to put up at the top, but we'll just, I thought I was going to run out of art glitter glue there, but I didn't. This little bottle, it's just keeps going. So that was good. Um, yeah, so I will, I will be making several videos this week. I'll, um, I'll be doing my Artie Maze, the flip through of my Artie Maze and tell you when that will be listed. And I will be doing the Denver, um, ooh, that's so pretty, uh, the Denver, uh, details, I guess you could say video and, um, who knows what I might want to make also. I need to get busy on my Blue Fern Studio. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, my Blue Fern Studios, definitely. I think maybe we might need a label on this one. Um, I wonder if I wonder if there's a Deb at Artsology. I think she's in this one. Still haven't labeled my books. That's that's it's on my list to do though. <laughs> I always have a list. There it is. There it is. Right? Are you in here, Deb? Where are you, Deb? Artsology, yes. Um, it was really handy to just take my little ephemera books as they are, though. That was that was kind of nice. But it might be they might be a little big. Shoot. Shoot, because they would have been so cute. That's all right. Um, save those for something else. And we'll just use a Tracy and or Roxy Creations. This one's kind of just sticking right out there. Oh, that's pretty. That'll be pretty. Yeah. Um. Anyway, anyway, it's just kind of like getting home and getting back into the swing of things. Oh, I know the other video I need to do is all the mail that I got while I was at the retreat. So there's a good good bit of mail to show you guys too. So that'll be good. That'll be good. I am, I, I tell you with your, with your kind support, I am feeling a lot more relaxed about 
video making. I think I, I think you kind of get so, I mean, it had been over a year since I'd taken a day off of videoing. I mean, I had taken some days off, but I always videoed ahead so that there'd still be videos. And, um, and I think it kind of just gets so sunk into it. It's like, well, I can't miss a day. I can't. I can't miss a day. And it's like, you know what, Gail? The world's not going to end <laughs> for sure. Okay, that's a cute one, isn't it? I think that'll be really cute. And I'm going to sew around all these. So, you know, I mean, they were glued as the, as the collage. But I think sewing around the edges just makes sure... Everything is, you know, definitely adhered and stuff. How about we see if there's a bird for this one? I think that would be fun. There at the back of this one. Yep. Ooh. Too big. Too big. This one I tried to use on so many things. At the retreat, it's all inked and everything you can see, but I never, it always sort of just blended into the background, but it's kind of nice on this one, isn't it? I might put that right about there and then see if there's a little label to put down below. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so anyway, oh, I just had such a good time and I appreciate you guys, you know, being supportive of me just taking a little time. That's nice, but it kind of blends in, doesn't it? I would like something to stand out a little bit more. These are Rach or uh, Tracy's. How about this one? Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so great to be back. Great to feel, you know, I thought I've got my granddaughter's volleyball two days this week, and I was like, oh, maybe I can somehow get two videos a day done and I decided you know if I do I do and if I don't there'll be a little break and you know I do have as others pointed out I have like let's see here let me get that on there um I do have like over 700 videos out there <laughs> so so if you're really wanting to watch one of my videos they're out there so that's good okay oh this one's cute i like this one too and then yeah and then we'll sew around it so cute see how quick these go together i mean you just make the make the background and then they just quickly come together i think i want a butterfly because i think i have some pink butterflies and this would be perfect wouldn't it? See this pink butterfly sticker here? These stickers, they came from Etsy. Just um, search washi stickers. That is perfect. I love that. Okay, but let's figure out. I think I might want a one of Deb's at Artsology. One of these. One of these pretty ones. Oh, but I decided they were too big, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Quit going back there, Gail. <laughs> They're too big for this particular project. They're perfect for um, journaling cards, though. So would I want a red, maybe? I don't know. Oh, but I think I've used up all my pink ones for them. Rachel. But that's cute. That's cute. Let's do that. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm all rejuvenated and ready to go. I do need to finish my blue fern. That is the priority. I want to get that done before I go to Denver. I leave for Denver October 1st. So yeah, just want to get that Get that done and um i'll do a video of course but she has blue fern studios has a bl uh, blog 
And so that's where you post your project. So I have to figure out the, all of that too. Cute, cute, right? How we doing? Oh, we're at an hour. So we got four done in just a quick hurry. So the rest will come right along too. Um, I'm not sure, maybe we'll do the rest of those in another video because, um, because we could. So thanks everybody. Thanks for watching old videos while I was gone. Thanks for rejoining me today. And we will just see you next time. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.